The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. While men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, the tares also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tears? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, Do you want this then to go and gather them up? But he said, No. Lest while you gather them, the tears you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and at the time of the harvest I will say to the reapers, First gather together the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. I welcome you to another episode of our show, for example. The parable that we just read is from Matthew 13, and it talks about the wheat and the tares. There was a farmer, and the farmer have really put seeds for the wheat. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and put the seeds for tares. Next day, the days after, they are both growing together. And while they are growing together, all the angels came to the farmer who is representing here our Lord, telling him, do you want us to reap out, uproot all the tares. But he said to them a very important verse. Let them grow together. Because he was worried that the tares, while it looks still young, may resemble the wheat. What is the meaning of that example? Our Lord gave this example to talk about the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God has to do with tares and wheat? The kingdom of God is one of three things. It's the kingdom of God that's going to come at the end of the world. The kingdom of God could be the heart of everyone and could be the church. And while our hearts is his kingdom, he is growing in there the roots and the fruits of the Holy Spirit the devil will come and will also try to grow the wrong things. The important verse here, while they were asleep. While we are asleep, the devil may come and bring forth other seeds that were not supposed to grow. While we are not careful, you may grow a bad habit, a bad friend, a relation that actually going to suffocate and choke the seed and the fruit of the Holy Spirit. While we are all asleep, not watching for our lives, the devil likes to grow these tears. And right away, the fruits of the Holy Spirit are being choked. But our Lord has a very good point. Let them grow together. We always wonder why there is evil in the world. Why the evil is growing and successful. Why the people who are doing wrong things are not having bad things. And while us who are doing all good things may have a lot of troubles in their lives. But our Lord is trying to tell us. It's like a movie that didn't finish yet. 
let them grow together. I did not yet whistle the final play of the game. The match is still going. Even though there is one team seems to be losing, that doesn't seem or being the end. So next time you have a trouble in your life, do not ask why other evil people are successful. But wonder if you allowed the evil to grow in your heart and what God wants is to uproot those evil things. The second point is, while evil and good things are still young, they may resemble each other. Some of our habits in the beginning, you may not know if it's a good habit or not. But very soon, when it takes over, you know right away it's growing and it shows itself. Our Lord is saying, watch out for the things that growing slowly, but one day it's going to show itself. Our Lord is trying to tell us, I may let the evil and the good to grow together, but it's your responsibility to uproot those wrong things in order for the fruits to grow better. The important thing in this parable also, he says, let both grow together until the harvest, and the time of harvest I will say to the reapers. The harvest means the end of the world. The harvest means the judgment day. And during judgment, regardless of what you hear in the media or news or internet, there will be judgment. There is definitely be a judgment because the Bible said there will be a judgment. Some in the West claim that God is merciful, a very fatherly, and he will never judge anyone, and he will let everybody to go unjudged because he is very kind. Although he is very kind, but this is actually a fallacy from the devil because the devil wants us to think there is no judgment but it's very clear from that parable. There is a harvest and there is a time of judgment. And during the harvest, he is going to tell the reapers, first gather together the tares, bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Gather the evil and put them in fire and gather the wheat and let them be honored. In judgment, there will be only two groups, no purgatory. There is only either black or white. There is only either good or evil. There is either wheat or tears. There is nothing in between. And while you are doing this, he is going to judge if you are a wheat or tears. And wish all of us could be wheat. I wish all of us could we plan to grow up the, the wheat within us and to uproot what the devil wants to seed in us. To weed out the tares will disrupt the growth of the wheat. And that's why our Lord does not want to uproot the evil while the wheat is growing. He will let both grow together. But watch out, lest you are the person who have wheat and tares within you. If the tares is outside you, don't worry about it. Let it grow. He knows that you are wheat, and he or she is not. But watch out if within you is not wheat. Watch out for the tears. One of the important messages of our scholarly fathers in the Orthodox Church is to examine yourself. St. Paul says, let each one examine himself if he is still in faith. 
we need to examine ourselves daily to see if there are bad wheat going, go, go, growing. We need to examine ourselves to see if we were asleep or not. If there were some growing theories within us. As the compliant absolution prayer we read and we pray, we are asking God to forgive us from every thought, every action, every word. And every night, you need to pray and ask, Lord, did I allow a tear to grow within me? Did I allow those wrong plants to suffocate your fruits? Remember, my friend, you and I are here in this earth for a number of years. We are definitely requested to grow. And when you grow, you will show if you are evil or wheat, if you are tares or wheat. And if you are not growing, you are hardly can be distinguished one versus the other. This example is for our Lord to tell us, make your heart a place for his wheat to grow. This parable teaches examine yourself and do it daily so you don't let tares to grow and choke the wheat. Until next time, have a blessed time. God bless you. Amen.